How's this going over with NFL players, these contracts that we're seeing, certainly with the NBA? The amount of money, um, you know, the whole guaranteed contracts thing that players have complained about for decades. Uh, you know, can you see this being brought up next go-round? Well, here's the thing. Next go-round, if the players want to have more money individually, they need more money collectively, Dan. And the way to get more money collectively is to get a better deal. And at some point, to get the best deal that you can get, through labor negotiations, you have to be willing to press the nuclear button like the owners did six years ago when they locked the players out and were ready to lock them out into the regular season. The players, though, aren't regarded as being willing to miss game checks. They aren't being regarded as willing to miss football games. And what are they going to do without revenue? So the strike option seemed to fizzle and die in 1987 when the strike failed that year. And they actually ended up getting a much better collective bargaining agreement through the court system after that. So, you know, we're back at the point where if they want to get paid more money, they're going to need to be willing to walk away. And Mm -hmm. the question is, are they willing to? And and we're talking about 2021, Dan. Guys who are going to be making the decision whether or not they're going to strike, most of them are (laughs) are still in college, and some of them are in high school. So who knows how this is going to go. But, But, you know, and the thing on guaranteed contracts, if the NFL adopted fully guaranteed contracts right now, I guarantee you that 99.9% of all contracts would be two or three years maximum because teams wouldn't want to commit guaranteed money beyond that. And that would be good for the players, too. Hey, we'll go right back to the market in two or three years instead of being stuck on the back end of a contract that's more favorable to the team than me. But that, that would be the practical outcome. We would have guys changing teams a lot more often than they already are. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.